Welcome everyone, my name is Sahaj and in today's video we'll learn about Azure AI Foundry's agent service by creating a simple hotel room booking agent. Before we dive into the hands-on walkthrough here, let's see what Azure AI Foundry agent service is. Foundry agent service is an offering by Azure AI Foundry which allows you to build and deploy AI agents. These agents can automate business tasks like managing support tickets, processing documents, and handling customer inquiries. And their ability to make decisions on their own and take actions on their own help businesses save time and prevent errors. Now at the core of the Foundry agent service are the AI agents. Now these AI agents consist of three components. Number one is a large language model that provides it with its reasoning capabilities. Number two we have are the instructions that define the behavior of the agent and Lastly, we have tools that allow the agent to retrieve information, retrieve external information, and take actions. Agents typically receive input in the form of user messages, system events, or messages from other agents. The agent then processes this input using its large language model and instructions. It can make tool calls for knowledge retrievals or taking actions. And finally, after processing, it produces output as, as either another agent message or a structured output that can be used by any other system. In our demo today, we'll be creating two agents to automate our room booking system. One is going to be the front desk agent and the other one is going to be the room booking agent. The front desk agent acts as our front desk assistant, answering questions about hotel amenities, services, dining options using the official hotel PDF guide. When guests need to book a room, the front desk agent hands off the conversation to the booking agent now the room booking agent has real-time access to room availability data stored in a csv file and this agent can check for availability create or modify bookings and also send confirmation emails using the integrated tools we'll build our agents using three key steps first we'll select the model that will serve as the brain of our agent second we'll write clear instructions that will define how our agent should behave Finally, we'll equip our agent with tools for knowledge retrieval and taking actions. So with that in mind, let's get started. We're starting in our Azure portal. First thing we need to do is deploy our Azure AI Foundry service. So you can come in here, click on search, and you can search for AI Foundry and select the Azure AI Foundry service. Once you're on this page, just scroll down to find create a resource. So create an AI Foundry resource click on create a resource on this page uh, under the basics basics tab we can start filling out the information so we can first select our subscription um, select you can then create a new resource group or select an already existing resource group and I've already created a resource group here for this video and I'm going to select that so foundry agent resource group and for the name uh, of our foundry resource I'm going to name it AI boundary and some random characters and I'm going to leave the region as it is so East US and for the project name I'm going to use the same three characters for the project name as well so once that is done uh, scroll down and click next for network identity encryption tags we can leave all of them uh, all of the settings as default and under the review and submit tab We'll just click on create so our foundry resource is now getting deployed once it's deployed we'll be back okay so now that the deployment has completed uh, I can click on go to resource and this brings me to our Azure AI foundry resource so I'll scroll down and click on go to AI foundry portal so now that our AI foundry resource is deployed we can go ahead and start creating our agents so we'll start with step number one which is selecting a model and deploying a model so let's get started with that. So over here in Azure AI Foundry portal, we want to select the model catalog here on the left hand side. And I'll scroll down to see the model catalog. Uh, Azure AI Foundry provides us with a lot of different models from many different providers, including uh, Grok, GPT models from OpenAI, DeepSeq models, Mistral and Llama models, and many more. Uh, you can also use models from Hugging Face and other open source models as well. For this particular video, we're gonna keep things simple and we'll use the GPT-40 GPT model. So let's search for 
GPT-40 and we'll select the GPT-40 model and we'll click on use this model and this will prompt us to uh, create a deployment. So for the deployment name, we'll keep it as uh, default GPT-40. Uh, the deployment name can be different from the model name, but we'll leave it uh, as default for this video. Deployment type, we'll keep it as standard and all the other information looks good and can be default as well. So I'll click on de uh, deploy. So now that our model is deployed, we're ready to use this model to create our agents. So let's see how that's done. So now on the left hand side, uh, we're going to click on agents and this is going to already create an agent for you by default. So what we can do is we can select our agent and we can start editing its settings. So firstly, we're going to change the agent name and we're going to call this first agent front desk agent. So this is going to be our front desk agent. Uh, it's going to use our GPT-4 model deployment that we had just created. And we're going to give our model with instructions that's going to define its behavior. So for instructions, you can see, uh, give your agent clear direction on what to do and how to do it. Include specific tasks, their order, and any special instructions like tone or engagement style. So this can be a descriptive instruction that you give your model uh, so that you, you can control its behavior. So now I've already written the instructions. I'm just going to paste the instructions here. So I pasted the instructions here. So you are the Grand Plaza Hotel's knowledgeable front desk assistant. Your role is to provide accurate information about hotel amenities and so on. And I've also defined its key responsibilities uh, and important guidelines here at the bottom. So we have done the first two steps of creating our agents. We have deployed the model and we have provided our model with instructions. Up next, we're gonna provide it with tools for knowledge retrieval. So in this case, we're going to provide it with the hotel PDF guide so that it can answer customer inquiries uh, with accurate information from the PDF. So let's scroll down and under the knowledge tab, we're going to click on add. So as you can see, we can use this to expand the knowledge of our agent uh, by giving it access to external data sources that it can ground its response in. So we have a few different options. We can upload local files. We can use Azure AI search and indexing. And we can also use information from SharePoint. For, uh, we can ground the information using Bing search. And we have a few other options here. But for this video, we're going to use local files. So we'll click on files here. Uh, when you select this option, you're going to see up here it says vector store. So create a new vector store. And we will select our file. So we have already uploaded our file and the Foundry agent service in the back end is going to create a vector store for us, uh, which the agent can use to search for information. So we're going to click on upload and save. OK, so with that in place, we have our front desk agent ready for now. Up next, what we want is we want to create our second agent, which is the room booking agent. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll get started by clicking on new agent. And as you can see, it's going to create a new agent with a random name. So we're going to change. We'll start by changing the name to room booking agent. And it's going to use the same GPT-40 deployment. And I will provide it with instructions. So you're the Grand Plaza Hotel's expert reservations specialist. Uh, check room availability for specific dates using the CSV database. Create new reservations and send confirmation emails. So we're going to set this up as well. So for this agent as well, we have created it. We have changed its name. We have provided it with instructions. And now it's uh, time to provide it with tools. So in this case, we're not going to add data sources under the Knowledge tab. But instead, we're going to add it under Actions. So what we're going to do under Actions, so Actions give the agent the ability to perform tasks. So we're going to use two different actions here. So let's get started. So we'll click on add and we'll start with the code interpreter. Before we get into that, let's have a look here. Uh, we have a few different options. We have code interpreter, open API 3.0 specified tool and Azure logic apps. So for this video, we'll be using code interpreter and the logic app. Now, if you are developing an agent using code, then you can access have access to Azure functions and custom functions. So this opens up a lot of possibilities when you're working with agents. Uh, they can make API calls. Um, 
trigger webhooks, and this opens up a lot of different possibilities uh, to automate things. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select our code interpreter. So let's open this and select local files. And in this case, we're going to select our hotel room availability CSV file. So let's click on open here <clears throat> and we can click on upload and save. Perfect. So we have one action added to our agent. So this will give our agent the ability to check for room availabilities by looking through the CSV file. Up next, we're going to add another action to our agent, and that is going to be using the Azure Logic app. So in this case, we'll use the Microsoft provided send email using Outlook. So let's uh, come here and let's select this and we'll uh, leave the name as default and your action description. And we'll click on next over here. We need to come and click on connect and this will prompt us to log in. So I'm going to select my account and click on allow access. And once this turns green, now our Logic app is authenticated with our Outlook account and it can now use our account to send emails. So let's click on next and we'll leave everything as default. Uh, check mark this acknowledgement checkbox, click on next. And uh, this gives us the tool name. So booking email tool. So let's rename it to that and describe how to invoke the tool. I've also written instructions for this, so I'm going to paste those instructions here. All right, so this tool should be called in the following circumstances. When a guest successfully makes a new room reservation, send booking confirmation email, and the tool should not be used for general questions about room types or pricing, so on and so forth. So um, I'll provide all of these different instructions in the description below in a GitHub repo for you guys' uh, access. And I will also provide you guys with the sample documents I'm using, including the uh, PDF and the CSV file. So I'm going to come here and click on create. So now our agent is equipped with two tools. So we have our co code interpreter, uh, which is connected to the CSV file. And we have our logic app, which will be used to send confirmation emails. Now that we have both our agents ready, we're missing one thing, which is connecting our agents together. So what we'll do is we'll connect our first agent, the front desk agent, to our room booking agent. So let's come here and select our front desk agent. And in the settings sidebar over here, we'll scroll down to find connected agents. And over here, we're going to click on add. And we'll select our only other agent, which is the room booking agent. We need to provide our agent with the instructions on when to call this other agent. So I've already pasted those instructions here. So invoke the room booking agent when the guests ask any questions related to room reservation, bookings, or availability. So we'll go ahead and click on add. And now our front desk agent is connected to our room booking agent. So now that we have both our agents deployed, so now that we have both our agents in place, let's see them in action. So we'll select our front desk agent and over here on the sidebar, we'll click on try in playground. All right, so we'll start with our first question over here. So what dining options do you have at the hotel? So let's send it away. All right, so as you can see, the agent has come back to us with the information uh, from our Grand Plaza Hotel Guide PDF. It has provided with all the different dining options. And if we come over here and have a look at the different dining options, so it has provided us with all of this information. Up next, let's, uh, let's ask another question. So do you have a fitness center and what are the R's? All right, and it has come back to us with the answer. So the Grand Plaza Hotel offers fully equipped fitness center featuring cardio equipment, weights, and yoga mats. It's open 24 hours for your convenience. All right, so we're going to go ahead with the next question. It's great. Do you have any rooms available for September 18th, which is uh, tomorrow? So let's go ahead, send it away. So we can see it's connected to our other agent and it has come back to us with the following information. So we have rooms available for September 18th. And this includes all of these different rooms. And please let me know your preferred room type and provide the following information. I'll be happy to assist you with booking. And I provided with the information. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, so it came back, came back with your reservation details already. All right, so I've gone with no special request. Please finalize the booking and send it away. All right, so your booking for a deluxe suit on so-and-so date has successfully completed and a confirmation email has been sent. So let's check if we received the confirmation email. All right, so as you can see, we have received the email. 
Uh, dear says, thank you for choosing the Grand Plaza Hotel. Your reservation has been successfully confirmed. Here are your booking details. We got our room type, check in date, check out date, number of guests, total cost, and the confirmation number. And that's how you build a multi-agent system in Azure AI Foundry. We created two specialized agents that work together to handle hotel booking and customer inquiries automatically. And if you want to try building your own agents, you should get hands-on practice at cloudland.io. So I've included a special link in the description that will give you free access to our premium Azure Foundry Agent Service Lab. So make sure you use the link in the description to claim your free lab. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.